Hey everybody! I'm here today to show you how to fix leaking caulking in a bathroom. This will be a very easy tutorial, so let's get right into the video. As you can see right here, I have this bead of silicone caulking where the glass meets the bathtub. And there's this one little spot right here where water leaks through whenever we're taking a shower. Now there are two ways to do this. The first way is you can scrape off that entire section and then you can re-caulk it with some new caulking or new silicone caulking. And that's one option. Um, but that involves a lot of work and this caulking is really fresh. It just didn't really adhere right at the bottom in this case. So what I'm gonna show you is an easy way that you can just add on to it to fix that leak without actually removing anything. So all that you need is obviously some new caulking. So I have my caulking gun right here with some new clear silicone caulking. It's actually the same one that I used when I originally did this. You're gonna need a little bit of water, okay? I just have this little bit of water right here in this old uh, container, this old plastic container that I found in the garbage, to be honest with you. You're gonna need um, a paper towel to clean up potentially, and then a little trick is I like to use these little sandwich bags to put my hands in. This way when I'm doing the work and I have to smooth out the caulking, I don't actually get my finger dirty. Uh, because it can be a lot of work to wash your fingers after you've dealt with caulking. And these sandwich bags are unbelievably cheap. And I can use one sandwich bag for like three or four caulking projects that I'm doing. I'm doing a few of them in the house today. Um, so I can use like one sandwich bag over and over again. Okay, so let's get into it. First and foremost, make sure that that silicone caulking is dry, okay? Now, in this case, we haven't used this shower in a few days. It is bone dry. I can feel on both sides it's bone dry. If you use the shower or if you got it wet recently, take a hair dryer and just put a hair dryer on it for a couple minutes and that should actually dry it out. And you can feel and see if it's dry. When it's dry, all that we need to do is apply new silicone caulking to both sides. So I'm going to apply it to the outside and the inside because if there's a leak, that means that the water is going through from one side to the other. So that means that on both sides it's a little bit thin. And I can feel on the other side it's a bit thin as well. It didn't quite adhere to the bottom. So this is what we're going to do. Very simple and straightforward. I'm going to take my caulking gun. Okay, now let's hope that the caulking ends up coming out because I, I just uh, poked it through and this is an old tube of caulking like I said. But I'm going to just squeeze it nice and slowly until I get some uh, coming through. There we go. Okay, so it's coming through. That's good. So I'm going to take my caulking tube and I'm just going to apply some new silicone just like that to the area. Now you don't need a ton. That's the great thing about this. You just need a little bit to be honest with you. Just like that, okay? Now I'm gonna just drag it along like that, okay? And I'm actually gonna go on the inside because some more is coming out right now. So I'm just gonna go on the inside right here, apply a little bit more on the inside of that exact spot, and that's it. I'm gonna place my caulking gun down on the paper towel because the, the silicone is still gonna keep coming out. Now what I'm gonna do, take my finger, put it in a paper bag, get it just in a, in a plastic bag, I apologize, and then I'm gonna dip it in water and the water helps not only your fingers smooth out the silicone or the caulking, but also helps it cure. It's part of the curing process. So with my wet finger, I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna apply it like that in a smooth motion. There's actually just a little piece that came out um, that was like old dried up caulking from the tube. So I'm gonna dip my finger in the water once again, take that wet finger and just smooth it out like that, okay? And what we're doing is we're just applying more over top of that leaking area, like I said. And this should solve the problem, but just as an added precaution, we're gonna go on the inside as well. I just wet my finger again, and I'm gonna smooth it out on the inside as well. This way, we're doubling up. Basically, the water is gonna have, it should have no way of going through. I'm just feeling for it. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more right there just to be safe because you know I don't want any um, any water coming through so what I'm gonna do is take just a little bit of silicone that I have here that was sort of sticking out from the tube okay and I'm just gonna I just got a little bit on that bag right there it's hard to see because it's clear on clear but I'm gonna take that silicone and just apply it right there just like that now like I said you can scrape it off and redo the whole thing but in this case I know that I did this myself and I know that this was an area that just when I went through the curve it didn't quite come out as thick as I wanted to. So that's what really caused it to leak. 
And that's it. What I like to do after, so I'm gonna take this bag like this, I'm taking my finger out, and my finger is completely clean, but I'm placing the bag down on the paper towel to make sure. Now what I like to do is I like to just clean up because you know sometimes I'll tape off the area that I want that I want to caulk, um, that I want to apply the silicone to, to make it nice and clean. Other times like this, you know, I just get a paper towel like this and I just rub it along, I run it along where I want to remove the silicone from. Because believe it or not, a paper towel does a great job at cleaning up silicone. It's really fantastic. So I just take it and I just clean up my line a little bit like that. I'm going to do the same thing on the inside of the bathtub, just so you know what I'm doing over here. No, I don't want to move the whole camera into the bathtub. Plus, the bathtub is a mess. I purposely didn't clean it because I was going to be doing this, in case I made a mess when doing this. That's it. I take this, I can toss it in the garbage, and I'm good to go. That is how to fix a leaky caulking or silicone caulking bead in a bathroom. And this works whether you're doing it on a bathtub or around a sink or anywhere. Uh, but like I said, you can remove the old one or you could just apply a new one over. You have to use your judgment. In my case, I knew that I could do this. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.